Hi, this is Kathy from Savory Pixels, and tonight I am in Fairlawn, New Jersey at Wani's Cafe. We are going to enjoy a terrific mix of Mexican and Peruvian food, and I understand they've made a special dessert for us. And what's even more special, they only have breakfast and lunch, and they're opening for us tonight just so we can try their, meal, their dinner. So come on in and join us. Homemade chips, like homemade guac. So things that are aggressive, oh. spicy food, oh, man. and noisy. That really is good. But there's a category of food there. And the owners are Mexican and Peruvian, so we can look at both here. I ate mine. I'm going to eat that again. Natalie's take includes shrimp, catfish, and vegetables that are local to Peru. Different types of potatoes. Just enough heat in the, in the Just enough heat in the sauce to make it bite, but not too hard. Very good. Very recommended. Okay. You missing anything, or you are good? Are you sure? Someone here. She knows that too well. Beef and chicken, beef and chicken. I had a white color quinoa, which is the white and red quinoa. It's condiment also, and the way people eat in Peru call quinoa. In Peru, you eat quinoa cold, hot, sweet, bakery. You know, that's a lot of things, even drinks you make with quinoa. Good. Thing I can't Alright, Tony, you're on. The only thing. No, no, no. I love olive oil. No. I'm equally non racist. Mm -hmm. Colorblind when it comes to that. Good. Three different color quinoa. Peruvian corn, olives. The tea room is open. All the people, all the ladies would go to the tea room and go up there. All the flavors coming together. Yeah. I love it. Yes, yeah. we always serve with chimichurri. Mm. Always chimichurri and katsu. The only difference is sometimes in my house, what I do is I cut onions with rocotto pure and lime and salt and pepper. Because in my house they like to eat like, like that. That's the way you eat it in my country. Mm -hmm. But in here we avoid it because sometimes not every people like to feel the taste of the onions. Oh, the green is more acceptable. Mm -hmm. But this is just terrific. Mm -hmm. Can I have one down mm -hmm. there? This is a Peruvian dish, lomo saltado. It's made with beef. Okay, would you put lomo saltado? It's um, it's like a saute dish. What's in it? Rice is it's steak, uh, flan is steak. Onions, ouch, 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 tomatoes, ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, potato, uh, potatoes, homemade French fries, uh, and a half a condiment from Peru, including the soy sauce. The soy sauce? Yeah. Okay. Japan, China, wow. Spain, Italy, and a little bit of Germany. So that's why Peruvian food, Peruvian food is so Flavor. Oh, what is mole? Mole is a mix of a lot of condiments. Oh, more than 20 condiments. So, yes. A lot of people in Mexico use this. This is a traditional dish for weddings, for big parties in Mexico. Enjoy guys. Nothing else. Just so you can spoon it and taste it. Oh my guys, beans, nothing. Wait, it's still fried seafood. Fried? Harvey got his fried food? Sheer fried rice. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Would you like to know why I'm asking you? Enjoy, guys. This is delicious. Oh, looks yeah. good. Is this Peruvian? Peruvian. That looks outstanding. It's a fusion, you know, Peruvian. Enjoy. What was your favorite? 
Yeah. It was all fabulous. Um, and the mole. So what's your number? Really special. Okay. And the seafood fried rice was really special. This looks like the best dessert we've had of all the dinners you've taken me to. The usually the flan for Mexico is can be in the refrigerator. It can be in the oven. It's different. Oh, okay. Ours is flan for us is different. For them, flan is in the oven. For us, flan is making the stove mm -hmm. and okay. refrigerator. It have a totally different texture. I'm finishing up here at Wani's and I've got Peruvian style flan, which is cooked on the stove and made with condensed milk. Very good. Different different texture. And here's something I have never seen before, but you've never seen before. A churro. Put a churro with a filling in it. I'm going to try this. I've said exactly the same thing. It wasn't it's so good. Everything here at Bonnie's is outrageously delicious. A little different than you would expect. And authentic. Come to Fairlawn. Find out what we know. And eat at Bonnie's. Amazing Peruvian Mexican food at Wani's in Fairlawn. Started off with terrific homemade guacamole and homemade chips, followed up with authentic Peruvian ceviche, which is different than you're expecting and very good. And rice and beans, Wani style, with his own little special trick, the quinoa salad. <gasps> I like quinoa, but I'm never quite sure what to do with it. Now I know, this is great. Great chicken mole, like velvet. So many layers. Gotta have it. Come here for that, if, you, if nothing else. The, so, the, um, the Lomo Sofia, amazing, amazing. Steak, almost a stir fry. And the seafood rice. And dessert, I have never in my life had a churro with a Bavarian cream in it. And I now know the difference between Mexican flan and Peruvian flan, and I can tell because I had it here. This is Kathy McNeil from Savory Pixels at Wani's in Fairlawn, and you definitely want this.